this test is suitable for any um, any clinical setting where you have acutely ill patients, patients that have a rapid onset of symptoms, upper lower respiratory tract infections, uh, strep throat, uh, appendicitis, um, anywhere where the physician might suspect a bacterial infection or some inflammatory response. The, the pediatric setting is a very natural fit for this. In the neonatal intensive care unit, you have the most high-risk children in the hospital. Uh, a lot of them are, have been born prematurely. They weigh from, you know, one to one and a half pounds. They could have been born weeks uh, beforehand. Um, so not only do they have an immune system that's not fully developed, but they have very low volumes of blood. Um, you could utilize a heel stick to take 20 microliters of blood, which would be less than a drop. I would think it's about two thirds of a drop of blood and get a rapid CRP determination in three minutes right there on the spot instead of taking a sample, sending it down to the laboratory, maybe waiting as long as 10 or 12 hours to get the result back. I'm of the belief that every uh, neonatal intensive care unit in the United States should have one of these. It requires a very small amount of blood, whole blood, um, and it uh, can be used as a great uh, test to help the neonatologist determine if um, one of their babies uh, might have an ongoing septicemia. Um, septicemia is a systemic bacterial infection and they must be caught early and they must be treated uh, as soon as possible because the longer um, the diagnosis is delayed, uh, the higher the mortality rate or long-term um, effects of a bacterial infection in that child. So it's a very dangerous condition to allow it to go too long in the neonatal intensive care unit.